ding like that, open it, and you have a baked potato. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Oh, close the helmet. And they all move in unison. Oh, I just have a cable blow. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer, and we are back in Station Ears. A um, lot of confusion around this last time. I had to program this. I might cut a lot of that out and just show you what the end result is. Basically, what we need is this grow light to go off for approximately half the night. So to do that, we look at a daylight center, which is there. Just put my head out the window. Check the horizontal, sorry, the vertical angle. When that vertical angle is greater than 90 degrees, the light is on. When it's less than 90 degrees, the light is off. And the angle is zero over there. Zero fit when the sun comes up. Up to 90 degrees there. 180 there. And back down to 90 degrees there. Back to zero there. So hydration critical. The light is on effectively from straight above us, when the sun's straight above us, to when the sun's sun straight below us, which means at night, so that sort of 90 degrees when it's night while the sun's travelling around, the plants will be in darkness, which they need to stop overstressing them. Bear with me. Oxygen low. Now I'm starting to run a little bit low on food. I'm down my last can. Uh, but we should be okay because we have a nice environment in here that the plants are thriving in. See, these are all thriving. What you can do initially is you can bake potatoes. To bake potatoes you need, let me just move some things around a little bit. I want to move this up. You need a table with a power connection towards you. Make sure you don't stick it out the window as I've done in the past. You will cut down like that. Don't need that on this table for now. You need your microwave and the way to mount the microwave is you walk up the table, you press Q to drop the microwave on the table. You then use the spanner, you see now yellow, on the microwave and that locks in place. Then you need lots of cabling. So one, two, three, four, seven. And I need about 15 cabling, I reckon. Somewhere around there, good enough. Swap the battery while I'm here. How are we doing for power? Good. It's cabling. Let's just quickly print some more cabling. That'll do. Now we'll just run our cabling in. For the bench. This is for the bench. The microwave takes its power directly from the bench. You see it's plugged in there. Little plug on it. Just run that into there. So now we should be able to turn our table on. Yep, lights lit up. So you just click on the lid to open the microwave lid. And then we just wait for some potatoes to be ready. I'm actually going to take one of these plants just to show you. So, left filter click. Two. Okay, that sounds two filters. I wouldn't need to get another CO2 filter shortly. Anyway, two potatoes. I can't cook both of them at once. What you do is you 
place the potato in the microwave. Goes a little bow like that. Close the lid. Turn the microwave on. And when it goes ding, ding like that, open it, and you have a baked potato. And even though just eat something, you'll Oxygen low. eat it the same way as you do your food. There we go. It's down like two percent. And now we can put another potato in there. I'll not because I'm going to plant it. I'll plant it here though. I want to get rid of that hydroponics down there. So that is how you set up your microwave. Very simple. The potato not do very well in there. So what we need is a fridge really. Which will be the next thing we make. So that's still on what we at, what we at. 92, 91, let's see if this goes off. No. Why are you not going off? This is really beginning to annoy me now. I don't understand what's wrong. Load the daylight center vertical reading. Set greater set R1 to 1 if R0 is greater than 90 degrees. So that means when R1 should be 0 when R0 is less than 90 degrees. Say grow light on R1. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. <laughs> okay, so what's happening <laughs> is the program's running through once and then stopping. It's not looping back. God, I'm so thick sometimes. Excuse my neck. Sorry, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> There you go, it's gone off because that is less than 90. Woohoo! Right. Man alive. This game really infuriates me sometimes. I love it, but it infuriates me because I do silly things like that. <laughs> I told him I'm a programmer. <laughs> Let's just move it out of the way for now. Right. Jesus. Can't believe I missed a uh, jump. Oxygen critical. Oh, helmet. Pressure. Pressure critical. Right, where's my electronics printer? Electronics printer, turn that on. Fridge. Large fridge kit. Do I have everything? Oh, I've got everything. Brilliant. Although I may need some more cabling. So cabling on this is at the back, I believe. Do us. Yeah, so there's a power on the back of the fridge. So what I tend to do is put sideways like this. Make sure I'm not actually encroaching too much on the bench. And then I can, yeah, I didn't need all this cable. Connect it up. Turn it on. So if I look at my potato here, um, will decay completely in four hours. Stick in the fridge, it will decay in one day now. Let's close that. Get my cable back. Don't need to sense it. So now we've got a grow light working. It's given us a quarter of a day of darkness for the plants to thrive. It means it's on for a quarter of the day, but I'm not too fussed about that. It means it's on for half of a day cycle, or a quarter of that time when it's light, but I'm not really worried about that. I just need to make sure it's a night cycle. So what is the atmosphere like in here now? 
So we have CO2, O2 and nitrogen. Okay, well plenty of CO2. The pressure is 61 kPa. That's good. Later on what I might have to do is set up a filtration system outside to filter some CO2. And when the CO2 level drops in here, turn the filtration system on just to put the CO2 in here. And then also make sure this room doesn't overpressure by having a vent venting out when the pressure gets too high. So I think that's a pretty good start. What are we doing here? Still 10 litres. Two potatoes. One seed potato, so I'll take that. Take those. Take two potatoes. So the seed potatoes don't need to be stored, but the potatoes themselves do. In the fridge, I mean, sorry. I can stick these. Where are my potatoes in the oh, use wall? I'm sick to take sea potato in there for now. The next thing we want to be able to do is to make canned soups, which last a lot longer and are more filling. To do that, we need a food processing unit. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Let's go and have a look. Site out here I've seen before. Um, I know what it looks like. I think it's on this one. You know what? Let's do another way. Let's go for corn. That's a basic packaging machine. And I need some copper, so I'll have more copper on me. Yeah, copper ore on me. Just quickly smelt those. Any more copper oil? Yeah, let's stick a bit more in. I'll throw it in the floor. And then just vent that back out into the tank. So, copper. So the way you put this on the table is the same way as you put the microwave on. You literally walk on the table, drop it on the table. <laughs> I don't think that's close enough. No, it's not. <laughs> I've just thrown it outside now. Oh dear. Oh dear. Let me go. Let me go and retrieve my food processing unit. What I should have used was tea to place. <laughs> I'm not having a very good day today. <laughs> Come here, you. How can you pass a solid sheet of glass? Okay, press T to place your item on the bench. Like such. And use a spanner to connect it. There we go, it's plugged in now. Um, I can't use this just yet. I need five cooked corn, I believe, and I need at least one soya oil. Ah, I need the extractor for the soya oil. 
Right, okay, so then you do the bench. You'll stick that here. Just try and do as much as cabling as I can. Yeah, it's been some changes since the uh, first stop playing this game. You never used to have to have soy oil and what have you, you put corn straight in there, you didn't have to cook it first. So right, we need now the extractor the soy oil. Soy oil. Soy oil. Reagent processor. Reagent processor. And I have everything for that. Good. Ninety core. There we go. Reagent process looks like food blender to me, but hey. What would I know? Use tea, place it on the bench. And then use the spanner. And again, it just plugs it in. It's all the spanner does, plug it in. Let's see what I mean, looking like a food processor. Bench on. Filter low. Nothing in there. God, yeah, I've got everything you filled with. Let me just quickly do that. If I'll start suffocating. Pipe bender, yeah. Filters at the bottom. CO2 filter. Always put the part you use one first. That way it's um It's what the first one that gets used. That's a good one. What's that one there? Is that a good one? No, it's a wasted one. I thought I had a spare CO2 filter somewhere, I must have used it. What else more here? Used, 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 used. So I'm going to have to stick all these together. And then I have to put the good one at the top for now. So turn you off. And actually increase the pressure a little bit. Right, how are we doing plant wise? I need seeds for these, so I'm probably going to have to grow more of these before I can show you how to make the food. But that's how we set the items up anyway. So we have a soy plant, that will give me three soy bean, okay, so I'm still thriving towards fruiting, so I'll just plant two of these. So I have one left, and I'll show you how to make soy sauce. So close that. You put the soy in this very top bit here. Turn it on. Open that. And you have one soya oil. It's as simple as that. It doesn't need to be stored in the fridge either. You will need that soya oil to make soup. You need one gram of soya oil for every can of soup. Yeah. 
Yeah, get a pumpkin soup swamp, can't you? So let us grow some pumpkins. I believe pumpkins. Let's not grow some pumpkins yet. Let's go and make some more trays. Three. A lot more iron on me. Yeah, fifty. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, Too cold, I've seen him up. There we go. And while the sun is down, let's put the five in there. I'd like to put it in there. Oh, I'd like to put my iron in there. I thought these were 5 grams each, not 10. Maybe they changed the recipe. 5, there we go. Turn them off. Them in here, I believe. This area. Need the spanner. There we go. Pumpkin. No, pumpkin. Where was it? There it is. Let's plant some pumpkin. What else do we have? Mushrooms grow in the dark. Once human oxygen and give out CO2, so that's a way of replenishing any CO2. Rice seeds can't I'm going to use rice seeds for I'm honest. Canned rice pudding, oh yeah, you need milk there, don't you? Oh no. I thought you needed milk. Cooked rice, oh maybe it's cooked rice you need. Milk. Just three rice. Okay, I'll take the rice in. Mush 
mushrooms, fern seeds, corn seeds, got corn grown, wheat to make bread. That'll do for now. Let's just this will grow. Let's keep an eye on it. Seed potato, take that. Take potatoes, what we got here? Seed potato. Two potatoes. Six seed potatoes there for now. What I'll do is I'll set up another cupboard with just for seeds. The light is off, so that must mean we are getting close to 90 degrees. I've just gone through 90 degrees. Let's check the health of our plants. See, I've got a bit of stress because I'm not getting any light during the night. Where these ones are, so these ones should be better. Yeah, see, they're better. Healthier plants because they're getting light, more light in the night than a dark period. Where these ones are just getting a full night cycle of dark. Um, could I? I don't intend to keep this room much longer anyway. It's just where these potatoes seed. Actually, that's seeded. Is that one seeded? Yeah. Okay. So probably just going to get rid of the hydroponics bay now. Can go in there. Potato seeds can go Hydration there. critical. Potatoes can go there. I'll take that because I'm just about to feed myself. Oxygen low. Slip of water. That's a baked wood. As you can see, it's half the potato gone already. And that yellow bar under the potatoes, it's uh, how long it's got left. If I get short with less time it is, it decays. And now I don't need this, so that can go away. So, what's left to do today? We set that up, we used our create oil, we used a microwave to create baked potatoes. We haven't got anything to make any soups with yes, but we'll, yet, but we're working on that. What we could do is make ourselves a few more cans. I think they're this one, I think they're just uh, all these. Yeah, there we go. Empty can. There's another. Let's make one more. There's five cans. How many seconds in total? Seven. That'll be enough. Plus the one I've got in my backpack's eight. Okay, so we've got cans, we've got a nice environment, we've got water. Remind me, I want to. Not that one. That one. Drop that in there. I 
may need more power. I'm now starting to use things that consume power for a lot longer during the day or during the night when we're not generating any power, so I may have to put some more solar panels up here. Enough to build two more of these. That means I will need ten glass or one. do is I replace these two. So. I was hoping I could get the solar panel in. I might not be able to get it in there with that no way. Can't really move off, so I'll be only able to get one up here. What I could do is put these up here for now. I need to wire these in. Obviously, at some point. Let's let that print for now. Yeah, it's as close as I can get that. Maybe I'll get the other one on there, I just don't know if they're going to hit each other. Probably not, actually, probably be okay. I could do some heavy duty cabling there. What am I short on for that? Copper, more copper. heavy duty cabling for connecting all these solar panels together. Known as a dual instead of a single connection. Some more things I'm going to start doing is building out this way a bit because I want some area for some tanks. So I can start 
Ooh, how many more have we got? Uh, producing hydrogen and oxygen. Not hydrogen and oxygen. Volatiles and oxygen. Um, so I can make gas for my welding torch. And then when we start building the rock, uh, rocket, we will need gas for that. Or liquid if we can get it cold enough. for a moment. Let's see how far we can get with pulling these out and replacing them heavy. Oh, one. I need the wire snips. So this can hide a lot more current. So smaller just normal red cables can only handle up to about 10 solar panels worth of energy and then they start blowing okay see I'm not trucking the sun Been messing around with their the inputs, so vertical daylight center. Daylight sensor horizontal. I still think we're 180 out. We'll see what happens. Like I said, I'm going to change them all now. Way, we're playing easy now. Stop that. Maybe it's not, we still might need more. Let me just do down here. So I can actually take this, I want to get all this on a high power, I can take that out. I don't need that there anymore. But I don't want to leave it there. No, I don't really need it there. I can move it. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen solar cells all connected. In the high K high power cables, but even though there's no power um, solar cells on this side of this cable, it will blow these cables on the sun to probably. So I need to start thinking about that IC and how I just change all that to an IC, so IC housing. And I must remember to use yield and the jump this time in my programming, so that it only cycles once every clock cycle. It runs through once every clock cycle. And uh, nice. running I might as well start ripping all this out actually I'm 
I don't need all that. So printed, that's printed, good. Um, 50 grams of iron, you can go in there for now. Still need a separate power input for the IC housing. Um, so I still need this cable to come up here. It doesn't need to be all of this. And all of this doesn't need to be all of this. Try and minimise what cabling I do need. housing so I need the network on the top there that's correct and the power on the bottom so I can just run this into here Like so. Yep, to the power and turn on. My power is low, so let me just charge my battery, change my battery quickly. Still not storms. I must have done something to turn storms off. I don't know what it was. I'll have to have a look. So now I need to. Where's my label? horizontal vertical oh Christ I'm not sure how to <laughs> where's me laptop Sensor D one main field jump main just so don't forget load all zero with vertical daylight sensor sense vertical so that'll load R0 with a vertical reading. Load R1 with horizontal daylight send. Waste and caution. So with horizontal reading. Then say batch. So this is what I need to know the hash numbers. Um, so uh, So I want to think. This is a solar power resistant to storm damage. Copy that. Uh, 
एक सप्लीमेंट पे जाएं बियोनस टू वर्टिकल सेंटर सेटिंग ऑल जीरो सेव बैच हॉरिजॉन्टल सेटिंग फ्रॉम ऑल वन एंड देन वी नीड Um, that one. Copy that one. So just a simpler or that one. The you know the lighter ones, not the heavy ones. Do the same again. Say batch. Integral. Or zero. Say batch. Horizontal or one. Confirm. Export. Plug that in. Sounds to be vertical daylight sensor. Vertical daylight sensor, and that one to be the horizontal daylight sensor. Bang! And they all move in unison. Oh! I just have a cable blow. That's what I mean. Bang! Too many solar panels pointing at the sun. I need heavy cables. Okay, how many do I need? Do I need uh, one, two. The cables. I only need to run them around to there now, we're going to replace a whole heap of them. So I'm hoping I've got enough... Um, enough of the Phobos and Demios. Demios, Demios, one or two. Mars is moved, anyway. And now we have a Thoral. Turning again to line up on the sun. So I should be quite a decent amount of power coming into my solar at my battery now. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Currently, oh, it's only seven forward. Why are they following that? Why are they all tilting this way? Horizontals minus 50, so verticals minus 101. It's horizontal reading. Minus 164, so we're at zero. Zero. Minus 90. We shall be pointing that way. Why are you pointing that way, you stupid things? Okay, um, the advantage of using I was going to say the advantage of using this is that I can edit it easier. So vertical, so it's horizontal, that's 180 degrees out, isn't it? So I could have only one sub so one one eighty. Oh one. Now 
R1. What AT, all I'm doing here is saying I'll take R1 and minus 180 of it and replace it by an R1. There we go. I don't like closely all together, but not much I can do about it. It's passing through each other, not damaging each other, so. I tell you what I've not been doing. Oh no, that's on, okay. That's fine. Let's open that. You're on. Oops. So what is vertical pivot mean? Vertical is one two six. Take the reading of here what the vertical is. 126 degrees, 126. One two seven. See then tilt it quite enough that way. Hmm. What do you want? One one four. No. Vertical one two seven, one two six. That's 180. That's 90. Is that as far over as they would go? I thought they could go much. Yeah, they can go further. Too far. Not too far. That's good, it's that way, isn't it? Let's go have to wait until the sun comes back up and have a look. I may have to do another calculation on that one just to get that point in the right direction as well. What pressure are you at now? 599 to turn you off for the time being, so power. But now I've got that programmable chip in there, it's easier to fix any errors. Oh well, yeah, my waste tank is there a bit full, isn't it? Alright, let's see how we're doing with our growing, anyway. Poorly towards... oh, why are you poorly? Temperature... is 26, pressure 63, what does rice need? Light deficient. Like deficient as well. Okay. Is that getting covered by a grow light? Maybe not actually. One, two, it should be when it comes on. Um, I may have to extend these down this way so they're more under the sun during the day. Thriving towards fruiting, thriving towards fruiting. Create two potatoes. It's barely grow towards fruiting, so I need to check. Yeah, I'm gonna have to move these, I think. I think putting that there is like blocking a bit too much sun. So I can move these, that'll extend these down here, put another grow light further down. 
but that's something to do for another session for now i think that's it for today guys thanks for watching please hit the like and subscribe please give me a thumbs up any comments are useful um, and thank you for your support strength by gamer wishing you good night